Welcome back everybody. This is Lars. We are playing KSP hard mode again. And uh, wow. Look at this thing. I uh, I thought we would ha take a break today from uh, doing all those interplanetary fun stuffs. And uh, see if we can get some stuff into the air this way. Now, I actually have a payload on the way up here. But I haven't actually... I've tried this thing a couple of times, but I've never actually gotten to the point where I could release this and, you know, get home safely. Our main objective today is to get this thing into orbit so we can start scanning some, for some resources. Uh, so we can see if we can find, maybe we can find some place to test the whole colony stuff. Um, second objective is trying to get these guys back home safe, but... For this mission, these guys have been classified as uh, test pilots and not astronauts. So if we end up losing them, well, they, it happens. And this thing is not easy to actually fly. So, let's see, I have to go around here. And, uh, whew, let's try. Yep. Yeah, that works. And we'll have to start, no, nope, all the way around, have to start turning around like this right away, so we can start leaning over. Uh huh, we'll try getting a bit off target here because we want a slight inclination. Oh, nope, not too much, not too much. So this is the hard thing, we have to now use the throttle to kind of adjust our uh, pitch so not that much not that much we want to get this angle ish all right come on get rid of those beautiful now, this keeps it kind of stable um, but as the mass moves here we might have to like, start to limit this thing so we are at 11,000, let's start, no, whoa, 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 hey, 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 stop, you, like this, thank you, no, wait, not that way, oh, come on, stop that, you, get over here, I'm not going to abort yet, I will try getting this right, no, Come on. Like this. I'm actually going to turn on RCS trying to keep this stable. Oh, yeah. We have passed our app webs. We are going back down, which is very bad. I'm not sure if we even have the thrust needed to do this. Oh, too much, too much, too much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. So, yeah, this might be a very, very much failed thing here. Unless we're able to turn this very soon. I don't see that happening, though. Okay, let's try increasing the thrust and just getting the nose back up like this. Hmm. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. All right, we will then have to do a test of uh, its landing. And uh, I think this is not going to end well, of course, because... Oh, come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Way too controllable. We are probably not going to be able to glide back. Um... Again, this is why I... Oh, whoa, whoa, look at these guys as expendable. Nope. Hey, stop that. We are spinning, but... Okay, let's use the SAS again. Try to pull out of this. Just come on. Come on. I don't think we are going to end up getting back there, though. Huh, maybe. No. So we might end up here. Let's see if we can glide all the way over there. 
Come on. Pull up. Pull up. Come on. Oh, man. So it is quite controllable on the way back down, it seems. After I added the extra thing up there. We don't have any fins sticking up. That might be a problem. Nothing even close to tail fin. And... For some reason, the launch didn't work this time. It did work the last time. Um, well, uh, to some extent, I actually had problems getting back down. <laughs> That's uh, not good. All right, um, turn back, turn the RCS on, and just give us as much of a push as humanly possible or curbly possible. We might be able to glide this one in. We are still 1,700 meters up. And uh, as long as we look, look at this with the RCS, because we have so many thrusters, we are almost able to keep our speed up, even though we are falling still. Oh wow, this is uh, not optimal. But it is an adventure. It's the important thing. Could we even like push up? Are we? We're falling. We are falling slower, I think, when we are doing this. Um, but we're losing speed faster. Alright, so I think we are good to go here. Let's see, we will have to try to get out this way now, and then turn back in. Okay. If we could do this, uh, then the <laughs> I think we have proved this shuttle to be usable on the way back down during re-entry. Of course, it might not actually survive the tough re-entry itself, but as long as we don't come in too shallow or too steep, I think we should be fine. So we are starting to kind of whiz around here. Come on. Oh, this is going to be a really, really, really tough angle here come on I want to try getting down on the um, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. stalling stalling oh no don't stall come on lean over oh look at this look at this beautiful beautiful get down there now and uh, no not yet oh and now Flare up. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, that was close. All right, so uh, parachute ne next time, I think. But, um, yeah. Let's do some more uh, stuff at home here today. Let's see, we have... Uh, this actually has some stuff. This is where he is, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Careful. Yeah. Water is running out and everything is running out. But it, it, it is not, though. It's just not that much. Uh, we'll have to get out of this thing and just test some things. But first, let's... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. This is not a realistic rig on, like, how we would actually do this. This is just for me to test a couple of things. I think we will have to just go out here or something and drop it off. I just... Oh, whoa, 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 hey, careful. I just created this rig to be able to test this at all. So, um... Yeah, can you stop now, maybe? Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That's it. Cool. <laughs> and uh, I can extend the ladder. Of course, now we have the, the pipe endpoints and a lot of stuff set up here. The thing is, at this point, this thing should work, but I don't know. Yeah, activate the habitat, right? I don't know what that does. And I think we put... No? Didn't I? Oh, wait. Did I put something in front of this thing? This might be the entrance. No, it's not. This is just something different. So I don't think it's here as well. All right, let's see. Missing construction parts, of course. Missing construction parts. We need construction parts to make this happen. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how that works, but the habitat mi is missing construction parts. I don't know what happens when we activate the uh, activate it, but I think each module needs some construction parts to be activated. So uh, let's go back and see if we can send some construction parts out. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Could I maybe go out here, check out the thing? No. Me. Information of me. Um, 308 thumbs. So... Okay, that's why it just flipped out. Hey, look at this. I tried to just fill it up. And uh, this thing is heavy. Very heavy indeed. This is basically all you, your storage needs on the colony. Right. Um, I think I'll have to reduce the weight of this thing. Wow. Okay. One more try. Come on. Oh. Oh. This. <laughs> Come on. Go then. No. You know what? Screw this. We'll just take this one instead. You. We just need to test the activation of these things. We know that this fits together like this. Of course, these things will have to land somehow and everything. We'll have to figure out some way of getting these guys down to uh, the surface of the moon without smashing them up. Might do like a sky crane design, might do something else, I don't know. It's uh, kind of hard to decide, all right. Uh, try not to fall over, please. Thank you. And uh, just, uh, oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Break. Thank you. <sighs> all right, extend the ladder. And this is probably the weird way of setting it up, but sure. Whatever. You. Get out. Thank you. Might be hard to get to these, though. Worst case, we'll just chuck some on there somewhere. Come on. You run over there. And, um... Yeah. It's a bit far up, isn't it? It's too far up as well. Oh, crud. Just, uh, no matter though, we'll just go get some other ones here. We have a bunch of these guys. Uh, grab this. Thank you. This is kind of cool. I love the Kerbal attachment system. I usually don't end up installing it though, for some reason. So, attach this, we'll put it here, and then, uh, Can we please get this thing down? Extend. Thank you. We need them ladders because we're short guys. Okay, come on. Get out there. Link this. To this. Oh yeah, look at this. So now they're piped together, right? Uh, you guy, you're in charge now. And I think we have, yeah, so we, can, we have activated the thing in a composter. Now we have some colony supplies, I don't know where we got them from, but we have a lot here. Construction stuff, rename. Missing construction parts still. Aren't these guys connected somehow? Aren't we able to like do this? Hey, construction parts. Get some construction parts. Oh, hey, not that. These guys, get some construction parts. Don't tell me we actually have to move this manually. Just yeah. activate, activate. Missing construction parts. And that we have construction parts. Maybe we need more. I did read up on this. Uh, not that I really remember what I saw, but my colony surprise, uh, supplies, surprise. Let's 
gets a bunch of cards and construction parts. Those are okay, so these are the heavy ones. Look at this. We're just slowly moving over here. Okay, we could probably stop here. Okay, good now. Habitat, all right, so it's running now. It took, um, okay, so I just need to have the construction parts. Okay, so this is just a resource we need to make to kind of fill up these things to make them operational. Aha, uh -huh. I didn't use any punch cards or anything else. We will activate the composter as well. Not enough biomass, of course, but that's fine. So, what does this thing do? I think it might, like, take waste and create something or, I don't know. Composter or something. Not enough biomass for the habitat itself. So, yeah, the habitat seems to be the way to create food, I guess, from biomass. Did we pack some biomass? We did not. Okay. So it seems we know kind of how to use these things. Ooh, look, that's uh, going to be your new home, dudes. Um, I think the first thing we need to drop there is just a storage hub and maybe a curb attack and some stuff. And we also need to drop one unit. Maybe we will drop like a storage hut with a bunch of... Um, of um, what should we call it? Um, life support stuff, basic life support stuff on it. Like this can create food, but we still need to need to um, recycle the oxygen and water and stuff. I think it can actually do them as well, but that's higher tier stuff. Okay, so at least now we know kind of how to get this going. One more test. I've been uh, playing around a lot on how to actually just get these guys down there. Now I see I could have made it even better, damn it. So I, for some reason I put the engines here. I see now I could just put them straight on this thing. Um, and maybe then not even need the engines. Or even these guys. Whatever, whatever. So this of course, come on. We won't be able to take off here with these guys, but they should burn for quite a while and pack quite a punch. And when we're done with them, let's do this and goodbye. And hopefully this won't land back on us. Well, if it goes 300 meters up on Kerbin, I guess it will go pretty far away on uh, the moon. But uh, it's... Uh, bit closer than I'm comfortable with. Right, let's uh, try a new design. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll have to test fire these engines. I'm a bit afraid of these guys actually starting to heat up this thing. So, fire them full throttle and let's see the temperature here. Yeah, it is getting pretty hot. Uh, let's see if we could take it. We're not going to burn this hard on the moon, and if we burn, I think we're good. Of course, when we're done, when we're, we've landed, we will be like maybe this on the engines, then we just uh, do this. And this thing should keep going for quite a while. Look at this. Still burning. Slowly. Like, I'm guessing it won't be doing that forever, but on the moon, this might actually reach, like, orbit almost, and then come back. And uh, just crash way, way away from this thing. This gives us enough oomph to land where we need to land, and boom. And get the thing here without any other stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is how we're going to land the guys, or the things, on the moon. I like this design. So um, I'm more or less finished designing the um, 
ship now, but there's one more part I really, really wanted to test first. Ugh, this is so clunky. Hey, stop that. Um, lock steering and lock steering. All right, good. Be more like a car, please. We can might as well just do it here, I guess. This thing is really stable. All right, put on the brakes and uh, get the guy out there. Yep, yep, yep. I think we should be able to board back up on here. Yeah, good. So, this is kind of cool. Uh, we have the uh, thing here, the container. We can open it and we can take stuff out of it. So, yeah, this is a proper inventory thing. It is awesome. You can also take the container itself and move it around. So, you could like take a bunch of containers, put them on one of the, those these ground pylons. So, I don't know how well these actually work, if they connect to the world or what they do. So, we're gonna test it. We're gonna test this. So, I think it's uh, attach, and yeah, I think you could put it anywhere. And there it stays. I think it's now like a properly anchored o object. But we're gonna test that. And if the stupid dog could stop gr taking the the cat's food that would be great as well right, so we'll grab this thing which is quite heavy all right we will uh, since we can't attach it back on anything so uh, I think we'll have to just drop it and oh it just stays there that is really cool that is really cool. That means you can have the storage kind of spread out a bit. Awesome. All right. So we will take the um, strut end point, I think. No, the radial connector point first. I think we could do the struts as well, but then uh, we need to connect them to s somehow first. Right. So let's see. It was... No? You. Touch there, please. Thank you. And I can now. Uh huh. What? No, wait. What? <laughs> uh, let's see. Plug this undocked. To... I don't have anything to plug. I know. All right. Um. Touch here, please. Well, yeah, I think this is something we could do, right? No? Uh, so it doesn't work like this. I think you need another part which we don't have yet. Which kind of sucks, All right? Uh, oh no, this is actually that kind of touch. I mean, I say grab. Okay then. Right, yeah, I haven't really figured out how all of this works anymore. So plug, dock, plug, undock. We don't have anything to plug yet. I think we need. Let's see, do we have anything here? We have the anchor, we have the strut endpoint. Uh, the strut endpoint, I kind of know how it works, but it's one vehicle only. If I do. Oh, come on. Come on. Whoa, you're slow. Right, uh, drop this. Uh, this will more or less just sink in. I think. Grab it, please. And I don't know if we can actually like attach this or just drop it. This is supposed to be shot out with the winch and stuff. Which I don't get yet. We can always do it like this. <laughs> Be an anchor, please. It is just heavy, though. It doesn't really work that well. I think this is the one that really works well, but I need to figure out if I could, like... <sighs> hmm. Let's see. Could I... This is... called debris. I don't know if this one would actually go away. Probably not, since I have a quite a high debris thing, but... If I like the castle uh, area by just turning the debris off, that would probably mess these guys up. Well, take this, both of them. We can't. No. 
And if we have something on our back, we could store it, it seems. Right, so, we will attach this to this. Right. And I don't think we can link to this. But we might. Where? Where did you go? Oh! Hello. That's weird. So, I don't know if this is just link this. And then... here no what oh I can actually move the whole thing yeah so we need another link uh, let's uh, restart this <laughs> just uh, relaunch it now that we know that we shouldn't take two things <coughs> at once because <coughs> if there's something <coughs> oh man if, the <coughs> if there <coughs> wow Right, if there's something this engine doesn't like, it's uh, loose objects, it seems. Right, let's um, do this much simpler this time. We'll take uh, the ground pylon, like this thing here. And we will put it over here, I guess. Oh, hey, you. Attach here. Oh, just here. Okay, I think actually it is better to put it on the back because then we could try dragging it with us. So, yeah, thank you. And let's grab one of those. Uh... Oh shit, let's just take the whole thing. Thank you. Uh huh. I do love it. This is what the game needs, really. Attachable parts and all that stuff. So, oh man, it's so cool. Okay, let's take one of those strut endpoints. Let's see, attach it here. And let's we'll see if we can take the other one. Yes. And attach it here. I don't know if we could actually link these two things now. No, cannot be linked to another vessel. All right. Which means that. Oh, right, stop that. Thank you. There's nothing in here we can use, I think. Anchor, radio port, no. So we need a thing for this, like uh, some sort of item. Which we could use to plug in this thing. I'll, uh, hmm. I'll see if I can figure this out. Be right back. <clears throat> All right, new strategy. Let's see. If we hey break, please. Thank you. Uh, get this guy out of here, of course, and jump down. You can do it. You're a cool guy with red stripes. And we will grab this and just drop it somewhere. Hey you, just drop it here. Thank you. And uh, take the pylon, and yeah, come on. Oh, and we will attach that to say here, right? I think that's fine. Now I've added the pipe thing that should connect these two together as the same ship, which is kind of what we want to do here, I think. So we, we will do the pipe endpoint first, right? And uh, touch, please. I could touch down here. Now we can say link this to this. Yes, now they are linked, kind of. Um, now, if we open this and take one of these struts, I, I still don't know if this is going to work, but it would be interesting if it does. Now we will. Attach this, put them here, and say link this to this. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Now they are actually like strutted together. This should work as an anchor as well. Um, open the container, take the other strut, and what we're going to do is we are going to try driving away and see what happens to this thing. If it just tried to stop us or if it's split somehow. Or if we're just stu stuck 
If we're stuck, we're going to put a lot of these guys as the kind of central hubs around between the base parts just to kind of ground everything so we don't have any troubles. I've had some glitchiness before uh, when using Chromal attachment system on large, larger bases. So, uh, hey, attach, please, thank you. Link this to this. Thank you. And uh, for good measure, we're, we'll, we're going to try something else as well. You. I don't know if this antenna will work when we do this, but I'm hoping. Thank you. Like the EVA set target, force open. What? All oh, right, because we're not actually in a thing that could control it. All right, um, let's grab this and go over here and drop it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Using this, we could actually dock um, with small uh, ships and stuff as well and get away. All right, off with the brakes. Look at this, we're stuck. We're stuck to this thing. This is perfect. This is just what I wanted. This thing is now just stuck. It can't do anything. Even I think if we were to like unlink this thing, I think we should keep being stuck. This is now one ship. And we should be able to just activate this. We are operational. And if we had a probe on this one, which I should have tested, we sh should be able to keep using it. Actually, I think uh, this episode is getting a bit long. So, um, let's see. We have to figure out what we're going to use here. I'm not going to actually f launch this thing today. I think it's just going to be... It's, that, that'll be too much. Right, so I think we will need a couple of strut endpoints, of course, and a ground pile on each. Maybe not that many, two of them on each side. Um, all right, so that's 22. And uh, I'm thinking we will need a pipe endpoint, of course, we could get to it. I think we will have two in each, maybe. Those are quite expensive uh, space-wise, though. And some battery packs that are quite big. We have a lot of different stuff. External command seats even. We could do a lot of cool stuff. We have <sighs> panels, <laughs> small liquid fuel engines. We could probably build the whole thing. Just, well, yeah. Monopropellant tank. We take a monopropellant tank, a couple of, of the small uh, RCS ports, and then we take a command seat and just fly away. All right. Illuminators, these are lights. We might want a couple of lights on, actually, so we could just place them, but we might as well just put them on the stand thing and just move them around. Now, um, I think, so yeah, I think the ground pylon is a given. We want one of these on each side of this main thing so we can start connecting things in a grid. And uh, pipe endpoint, yeah. We need that, of course. We're going to put some on this as well, of course. And uh, strut endpoints, we want a couple of. I think we will just take... Uh, you know what? We will take an extra pipe endpoint and a couple of extra strut endpoints as well and fill up. That, that means that we are ready to go on this side. There's nothing more we need to connect. And I think we will do... Uh, Th same thing here as well. So, um, ground pylon and a couple of pipe endpoints and a bunch of strut endpoints. That's basically all we need. Uh, so, how much will this weigh? Uh, not much. I won't really create any troubles. We have a couple of pipe endpoints here, extras, and we will put a couple of strut endpoints as well, just so we have them. Which means that we could take other equipment on our next trip and not take all of this junk. Uh, so we will take. Do we have? Do we even have the um, attachments points for the struts here? Wait, what? Maybe they're under structural or something. They might be hidden with the other ones. Uh, even though that seems kind of weird. Right, so we can't really get those unless we actually make them attachable. Or maybe I'm. No, they're here. I'm blind, no worries. Let's just put some of them here and here and here and here. 
We are going to move these around, maybe put them on the sides here. Actually, I think uh, we'll do that right away, because having them where they're not going to be used is just not a good way of doing this. So, these guys um, probably... Actually, we will just do this, this, you guys will just, like hang out over here, like extras, and you. Yeah, you. Even though it's kind of weird having it in front there, it'll be fine. <sighs> Symmetry was on, wasn't it? Yeah. You. Over there. You. Without symmetry, over there. Thank you. Um, might be hard moving these guys around, but we'll figure it out. Right, so I think we are packed and ready. I don't think there's anything more we need. There's some food, some stuff, and a no construction materials, but because, well, as you can, yeah, you can see the delta V change while I do this, right? It, uh, yeah, we're able to launch and maybe even get into orbit, maybe get into uh, closer to the moon, but I think we will just keep this offline for a while. Uh, hopefully, though, this the resources will still be available. Oh. I have to check that first, but we have to do that next episode because, uh, well, yeah, we we are done here. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And please remember to leave a like for some more KSP in the future. All right.